designed the program primarily for women who were experiencing a number of personal challenges and life challenges. And the idea behind it was that um, we would give them the opportunity to express their concerns, become more aware of the issues that they were facing, and then ultimately address some of the key challenges in their life. So really the program is appropriate for women who um, have been involved in the justice system, who have had difficulties in their families, who have had uh, difficulties finding employment, um, who want to, who, have, who want a different future. It really is for women who want to redefine themselves. Our numbers are down significantly. I think it's because what we're doing works. We have placed more emphasis on reentry in Iowa in the last couple of years, and we're just now starting to see the results of that. We understand our failure in the Iowa Department of Corrections as well as nationwide has been give somebody $100 and a bus ticket, and we know that doesn't work. So now we place a lot of emphasis on reentry so that we have the women set up housing, jobs, uh, support all those kind of things when they get out so they can succeed and I think that's why our numbers have decreased plus we're giving them the tools that they need so that they don't return. One of the principal philosophies of this program is that all women come in with strengths. Sometimes we just have to encourage them to mobilize that, to uh, encourage them to use them and find them but that's really one of the biggest goals then is enhancing uh, those strengths pulling out their personal strategies and, you know, defining those personal strategies so they can use them when they're coping with challenges on the street, when they're dealing with trauma, when they're dealing with, you know, difficult employers. So in any situation, they can, they can tap into those resources or those personal resources. So last time we talked about family and we all came up with our own definition of what family is. Today we're going to talk about Keisha and her family and we're going to do an activity called Keisha's Family Challenge. So I'm going to hand this out to you. And the top part here is we're going to read a little bit more about Keisha. You remember Keisha from all the other, all the other things we've read about Keisha. We've read her story, we've read about her in different contexts. Is anybody willing to read Keisha's uh, blurb at the top? Danny? Keisha's Family Challenge. Maybe you remember my story. All my life, I have told myself that I'm not going to be like my mother. I didn't look A big up. part of the success of moving on is that it teaches women how to work through challenging situations. The stories of three fictional women, Lucy, Maria, and Keisha, are used throughout the program as a springboard for discussions and to encourage problem solving. These activities give participants the opportunity to process similar issues in their own lives without forcing them to disclose any personal information that they may not be emotionally prepared to address. Stop using drugs and start moving forward. Good, thank you. So if you were in Keisha's position, if we're gonna help Keisha, and she's gonna get her babies back, what are some of the things that she needs to do? Work on herself first. Okay. What kind of things does she need to do working on herself? What specifically does she have to do? Think back to when we set goals and how we want them very specific and concrete. What things uh, actually? She can do counseling. Take parenting. Parent counseling. She can take parenting counseling. Mm -hmm. Treatment. Take parenting classes. And parenting classes. Treatment. Treatment. I want help. 